show. I'm Sherry Schreiner. Okay, so yeah, it's Monday and here we all are. Stuck again for another week. In hell. But thankfully for a lot of us, Earth is the closest to hell we're gonna get. We just have to deal with it. You know, I'm waiting for particular signs and I've told you that. I don't go by dates, I go by signs. And... One of the biggest signs for things coming about is the GCR, the RB, the Global Currency Reset, also known as Reevaluation re of Global Currencies. And so this is a huge sign that the eighth regime, the age of Aquarius, the last regime on Earth is implemented and rolling. And, you know, if you want to believe all their ho-hum, uh, everybody else is ready to go but America. America's holding everybody up. And you know, I told you last week on my show uh, we've had the Ashtar turds and detainment because they just won't get going. And it's the only way to speed things along here. And so they wanted to be let out. Uh, they came out about on Thursday because they wanted to make an appearance at the G7 conference on Saturday. And so they were, they were let out until tomorrow to get something going, and they just get their butt thrown back in detainment and hell. Uh, but what was interesting was uh, somebody caught him on tape. <laughs> you know, uh, Orca and Warrior sent a, posted a video about the G7 conference and this nine-foot-tall being standing at the head of the table. And I'm looking at that thing, and I'm slowing it down, and I put it through a blurry filter thing, and I'm looking at it, and I made a video, posted it on YouTube. And people want to say it's 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 a, a man standing up holding a child on his shoulders. Yeah, right, at the G7 conference, at the foot of the table. Right. Or he's holding a bucket over his head. I like that one. Uh, when you slow it down, what you see is this tall, this, this man who's sitting there. Looks like he's in a suit and tie. And he stands up, and it's like he takes his hands and, and under his face, under his chin, and he pushes his head up to stretch. It's like he's morphing into this nine-foot being. Craziest thing you ever saw. But you know, I've been I've been hearing for years how Queen Elizabeth is actually a nine foot reptile. Now, does she look like a nine foot reptile to you if you look at her? No, she looks like a little old lady, like she's supposed to look. But when they morph, and the beings morph and materialize and come up out of them, she quickly becomes a nine foot reptile. Same thing as this being, this thing, at the foot of the table. And I made a webpage on it, too. You can go to sherryshriner.com backslash g7.htm. You can see my pictures and my video on it and the original video. And one of the things I was seeing in the Bible codes was how we got a photograph of Maitreya. And I'm thinking, how do we have a photograph of Maitreya? <laughs> That must be it. That being in this video is Maitreya. Hmm. Now, when I put it in my blurry filter thing, it almost looked like the being was standing with its back towards the table. It almost looked like the, the back of its head. It's not the front of its head. It's the back of its head that we're looking at when you see it standing at the end of the table. So that's interesting. Matreya is making an appearance. No one even cares. Everyone's looking down at <laughs> the menu or whatever it is they're looking at. <laughs> A couple people are looking up at them. They're so used to it, folks. It doesn't faze them. Because these beings control the world behind the scenes. This has been going on for years. This isn't anything new. And if you look at these world leaders to begin with that were there at, at G7... They were all clones. None of them were humans. 
You know, I was looking at the Trump, and he, they had they rolled out the Saturday Night Live double. That's, that's not the real Trump. That wasn't the real anybody there. They were all clones. You know, none, none of them were human. They're all just sitting there in their human bodies, and and just like Maitreya, when they want to shift it and morph, the the beings just come out of them. Just like that thing at the end of the table. You know, they call their human bodies their human suits. Because it's like clothes to them. It's what they have to wear to hide the being that's actually within them. And so, I don't know where the real Trump is. Uh, I've been seeing a lot of the fake lately, the double. And, and you can tell the double. He's got the real fat face. Really, he's the jolly guy. He's the guy Melania just cringes when she has to be there, especially if he tries to hold her hand and look affectionate. She looks like she wants to slap him upside the head because um, <laughs> it's not the real Trump and she knows it. Uh, yeah. So that's T7's over. What I find interesting about the whole thing is, is he likes to – you talk about a hornet's nest – Trump is stirring up a hornet's nest because he came back and he tweeted the commander in tweet <laughs> that he didn't know if he was going to continue on with the Paris Agreement that he might back out of it. And so this makes everything really interesting because the whole GCR and R7 is wrapped up in the language of the Paris Agreement. They want you to think it's all about carbon emissions and blah, blah, blah. But buried in that bill is the whole GCR agenda, the whole global currency. And, and that's what's really going on. That's what they're really concerned with and talking about. But Trump's a businessman. And when you fill a bill with garbage, like they did about the carbon emissions where everything is stacked against America... He's gonna he's gonna find offense to that, you know. Obama could care less because everybody's been blaming everything on America for years, and 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 Obama just shelled out money to everybody. He didn't care. Trump's not gonna deal with that. Trump's not gonna pick up the tab for all these freebies. All the the world has has stuck on the United States all these years. You know, NATO wants armies, but NATO wants America to pay for it. The world wants the United Nations, but the world wants America to pay for it. You know, it's always America pay, America pay, America pay. And American people are struggling. They can't survive. They can barely eat and pay their bills. And they're working 80-hour-a-week 80, 80 jobs. You know, Americans are, are tired of everything being put on their backs. And, and number one, NATO armies aren't even human. They're not even human. They're clones. The super soldiers, their various lab experiments. And that was one thing Lucifer uh, uh, talked about in my book, Interview with the Devil. I asked him about the NATO armies. He laughed. They're not human, folks. It's all the experiments in one military. NATO. So why should America fit the bill? But that's not really the point, because all this stuff is just, <laughs> all this just heads into destruction, folks. Okay, this is what, this is what you can glean out of this whole thing with Trump, because he wants to throw in his own monkey wrench into the mess. And I like it. I like it. That's, you know. Um, what it does is this. Okay, because I don't know who he thinks he's playing with. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he's on a script, if he, he, you know, if he's just off, off in left field doing his own thing, which I doubt because nobody would have that much power and not be killed already. So somebody's pulling the strings. Somebody with power is pulling the strings. Because this is what happens, okay? Now, let's just say uh, in, in, the in, the, in the regime of things we're waiting to happen, the, the currencies revaluate, 
and uh, all the currencies are on are gold backed. They're backed by precious metals, junk currencies, worthless currencies, uh, like the like Raki dinar and the Vietnam dong, and all these worthless currencies are now gold backed, and their value increases, and they're now worth something. Okay. And the whole world goes into a new stage of economics where everybody's currencies are are worth something. They're, they're, they're supposed to be a level playing field, but whatever. They're, they're just reevaluating all the currencies, and this is what the world is waiting for, because this is the linchpin of the age of Aquarius. It is, we're here, we're getting started, this is the first thing we're doing, we're reevaluating the global currencies. I told you it's all money based. Everything about Satan is money. And so <laughs> that's the huge sign we've been waiting for that this next regime is, is, is going to take place. Trump's saying, no, America's not going to do it. We're not going to do it. Well, mind you, Trump's already made billions. Because when Trump became president, he signed off on this GCR. And you'll notice uh, a couple of weeks ago, Jared Kushner and Ivanka and, and General Mattis and all of them were over in Iraq. What were they doing in Iraq? Yeah, we, we realized the guy had billions of Iraqi dinar to cash in. Probably already cashed them in in foreign banks. Everybody's taking it offshore and cashing in their currencies and getting their currencies in foreign banks because he probably knew darn well he was never going to let it do it, let it RV in America. So the only ones in the world that are going to be ripped off by this are the Americans holding all these currencies, waiting for it to RV. And your own leaders are saying, no, we're not going to let it RV. So none of these Americans holding these currencies, waiting to cash them in, will make a dime. You know, that's a war against the American people right there. That's a huge slap in the face to the millions who have been holding on to these currencies, waiting to cash in and make some money off of it. Because if everybody in the world's going to do it and Trump's going to say, nope, America's not going to do it, he's going to have a huge chunk of patriot America really pissed off at him. But let me tell you what also this leads to. Because he's playing a game he can't win. He can push. He can push. But he's not, he can't win against them. Because what's going to happen is all of the world waiting on America to push the green button. Trump says no. What's going to happen is this. There will be a hostile takeover of America. And maybe that's what Trump's doing. Maybe that's what Trump's inviting. I don't know. Because this is what his actions are going to lead to. There's going to be a hostile takeover of America. Because come hell or high water, they're going to get their GCR and their RV. And there will be a hostile takeover of America. And there will be some kind of alien invasion here for the hostile takeover. And the Asian races, the Japanese in particular, will be with them. They will be with these Ascended Masters, Ashtar Command, Galactic Federation, whatever you want to call them. They'll be with them to, to perform a hostile takeover of America. Now, smile the coffee, folks, because back in 2008 when I was screaming about eminent domain and Hillary in China, remember? Hillary went to China with this eminent domain agreement. She wanted to borrow money from China. And so she promised them eminent domain of America if the United States defaulted on their loans to China. This is the first thing she did as Secretary of State. And so, of course, naturally, they defaulted on their loans. Because Obama never paid his bills. Obama just sucked everybody out of money and stashed billions and probably trillions in offshore banks. So what happens is America defaults on their loans to China. And over the years, China came calling on that debt. They started buying up American banks, and I've been screaming about China buying up American banks, and 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 nobody nobody notices, nobody cares. There's not much you can do. I don't know what the apathy is. 
Uh, but Wells Fargo is, is Chinese owned. HSBC, Hong Kong, Shai, Shanghai, Bank of China, which are eating up Chase, Bank of America's, Huntington's, Key Banks, all your little local banks are owned by HSBC. They started out buying, oh, we'll own a few Chases and a few Key Banks and a few Bank of America's. Now they're just buying them all up in gross. And there's nothing Congress can do to stop it because the real owners of America right now are China. It's like, how do you destroy a country and take over without firing a shot? You take over the money. You take over the money. And that's what China, the Chinese are doing. Hmm. So China is going to come calling. Because China is the one behind Bitcoin. China is behind the, the global currency reset. Because what it did was it kicked out the American dollar, which is no longer the world reserve currency. The world reserve currency is now the Chinese yuan. And so now America becomes more and more less significant. Less and less and less significant. Ready for a hostile takeover. Ask yourself why they call their beings white knights. Why they're called, their faction is called white knight journalists and white knight politicians. Because a white knight is someone who intervenes in the midst of a hostile takeover between two companies and plays as an arbitrator on behalf of the company that's being taken over. America's being taken over, folks. And if Trump decides he doesn't want to play ball, he's going to invite a quick hostile takeover. And this is what I've been seeing. You know, I've been seeing an, an alien invasion coming, uh, a flood, an avalanche. And, and, of course, I've been screaming about the different invasions I've seen over the years. Uh, but this one is different. This one is with the Chinese or the Japanese because they're very high-tech. They're very high-tech in space. China and Japanese are in circles around America and Russia. In fact, most of their stuff is in space. That's why they don't spend so much money in, on their civilizations and populations and infrastructures and things on Earth because their heads are in space. So... Trump can go along with it and play ball and buy some time before the, the takeover. The center masters arrive. They pull off their event. They do things as planned, the things we've been waiting for. Or he just decides, no, no, we're not going to do it. And then there's a hostile takeover. You know, that's that's his options. I don't know what he thinks he's doing, but that's his options. You know? And one thing... That the father keeps pounding on me. Just over and over and over. Is the giants are coming. The giants are coming. I just did a video on it, a show on it. Last week, two weeks ago. I've noticed other people on the internet jumping on the bandwagon and putting out stuff about giants. Yes, folks, they're coming. They're coming. You know, I was looking at Revelation 9 and Joel chapter 2, and I'm reading Joel chapter 1, and I'm realizing Joel chapter 1 is a different locust invasion than the locust invasion of Revelation 9. Because the Reve if you look at the details, in Revelation 9, they torment the people for five months. They don't kill them, they torment them. In Joel chapter 1, they're eating people. I kept telling you, I kept seeing giants eating people. I've had visions of this. And they're burning things up. And they're described as different various levels of locusts. The palmer worm. The canker worm. These are the caterpillar. These are different levels, stages of growth of a locust. These are the ones. This is the invasion that's eating people. And this is the one that's coming. This is the one that's coming. You know, I've been out in the garage making boxes of orgone. And everybody should be busy making orgone because, especially when they arrive, because 
you don't know exactly where you'll need it. You know, you might need to to make orgone water, so you need orgone already made, so you can throw it in, in, in pools or bathtubs or garbage cans or buckets and let it soak so the orgone saturates in it and makes it orgone water. They will not die by conventional means. You know, it says it falls on a sword and it doesn't die. That's a conventional mean. A sword's a conventional weapon because these are supernatural beings. These are fifth dimension beings. Your little bullets aren't going to bother them. This is why we started the Oregon War against them years ago because it's an energy war. It's multidimensional and it will destroy them. Energy is something that will kill them. The rider of the white horse has a bow but no arrow. That signifies an unconventional weapon. Unconventional weapon, folks. And these giants are coming. You know, if 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 Trump wants to play hardball and allow a hostile takeover and invasion of America, because the rest of the world's waiting and watching. That's why you see them all snickering and and being condescending, and and Bush is giving a speech and they're making snide comments and being condescending. They're just waiting for the coming destruction of America, folks. And apparently they all think it's funny. They're all just going to sit back and watch the show. So, yeah, it's coming. Either he backs down and they push the button for the RV and the little Ashtrid fags get to have their event and arrive to Earth as gods and gurus, angelic beings, all little lives and charades. They just want their little event. Uh, they either get their event, or they're going to just hostile and take over America. There's going to be war instead. So the choice is in Trump's lap, or whoever's controlling him. I don't know where their script is leading right now. I just thought, there's a monkey ranch. I like it. That's amusing. Because your kahunas will take you nowhere. Not with these guys. You know, he's there to lead, to be a placeholder, to lead the world into the GCRRV. And now he's saying, I'm not going to do it. (laughs) I think it's funny. Uh... It would be funny. Um, if it wasn't, you know, it's just kind of funny. <laughs> uh, he's like being a two-year-old. I'm not going to. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, we get the invasion instead, and we get a hostile takeover. I actually like that one better, you know? Who wants to see these idiots arriving to Earth? And fake tech holograms and all the little glory they want to set up and come in as ascended mass. Who wants to see it? Nobody in America wants to see that garbage. Maybe a few New Agers who have been sold down the gutter and buy everything hook, line, and sinker from this garbage New Age. I don't want to see it. I want to see their destruction. Either event they do. Either one they want to do. So to have the event or to have the war, not going to be much of a war, but we'll go ahead and call it one. Because we know it's not American military that's going to round up its citizens and throw them in FEMA camps, folks. That's a given. We know that by that time that America is going to be taken over by hostile forces. And I've already told you years ago, they're not human and, and, the, and the beings, the people that run FEMA, they're not human. And the people that run these FEMA camps, the soldiers now will be replaced by these non-human beings rounding up uh, American citizens and throwing them in FEMA camps. These are going to be all these NATO troops that are not human. We know what's coming. The Bible talks about it. Isaiah talks about Babylon rounding up its citizens and throwing them in concentration camps. So we know what's coming. Eventually, this this hostile takeover is coming of America. It's just when, which stage, which phase. So 
so soon now because of an RV? Trump dumps it? So we get a hostile takeover? Or later? When everybody refuses to worship the mark of the beast, the image of the beast, and refuses his mark, and then they just bring in these troops. Uh, because there's chaos everywhere, creatures running everywhere that CERN is unleashed. The world is salivating to destroy America, folks. I wish you could see that. And it's because the Lord's light is here. The Lord's light is in his people. And their darkness and their Satan seed and their tear nations and their serpent seed and 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 those who do embrace Yahushua in those countries, they don't fare well amongst the brethren. They're persecuted and even killed because they're hated. Christians are hated, and so they're salivating. It's it's like the wolves surrounding the sheep for the final onslaught. And they call it candle snuffing time. And they come against all the people of America with the Father's light to snuff their light out. That's what they call it, candle snuffing time. The persecution of the saints. And the churches, the masons that run the churches want you to think, oh, you won't be here for that. Really? Because the majority of Christians will be. They will be here for the coming time of the giants. And that's why I have been screaming for years for people to orgone their areas because the areas that have orgone them in them will be protected. There will be protection areas for God's people. And there's not much time left to prepare for any of that. When the giants come, do you think you're going to be ordering off the internet and... Working your nine to five, and maybe it's not going to be as chaotic as as I think it is. But I just don't. I just see society shutting down. I mean, seriously, I don't think you're going to be able to find supplies and buy supplies to make orgone then. So you better have had it made before the crap hits the fan with the giants. The giants are coming. You know, the father's pounding it loud and clear. Nobody's waiting, waiting on a rapture. Yeah, we are waiting on the event. But the chunk of the bride that's going is so small, it's going to be insignificant. No one's going to really realize. If it wasn't for the, the, the display of him taking his people home, you wouldn't know people a lot because the numbers are not there, folks. We're not talking in the, in the millions. I told you there was three different groups leaving, and it is the second and third groups that are larger in number the first group is very very small because so many make him angry they don't qualify get ready for the giants stop spending all your time trying to pin down rapture dates and make your oregon and get ready for the giants zechariah who is it zechariah talks about how the the branches are wiped are wiped clean he's talking about his people where the giants eat, eat them all the way to the bone, and then lick the bones white. Eat them all the way to eat their flesh. And they're not going after the animals. The animals are in distress because their pastures are withering away and being destroyed. Because there's too many humans to eat. Why would you want chopped steak when you could have filet mignon? So this week, what do we do? What do we do? Where are we at? I have not seen any GR, GCR sign. No RV sign. That's what I'm waiting for. Or I'm waiting for a direct sign from the Father himself that he's coming to take that very small first group home. I've not seen that either. So we prepare for the giant until I see one of the other signs. So, if you want to know about digital currencies, folks, Bitcoin and Ethereum will probably break out to be the major cryptocurrencies for those involved with that stuff. I've warned of Ethereum for a long time. Uh, and, and Bitcoin's owned by the Chinese. So if Chinese does 
I mean, all they have to do is keep assimilating uh, all those smaller American banks and chains into their own dragon nest of HSBC. Uh, once they have all of our banks under their control and ownership, who's to say then they just don't start bringing in their troops to collect on their eminent domain? They own our property, they own our homes, they own everything. And if, even if you paid your mortgage off and you're debt free, they can still say, hey, this is eminent domain, this is our country. And start rounding up Americans and throwing them in camps. You don't think it's going to happen? You just start buying some bullets while you don't think it's going to happen. Because you're going to be defending yourselves and your families, not only against what could be a very hostile alien takeover, but also the Chinese coming in. And who has the largest cloning facility in the world? The China. Why do they need the largest cloning facility in the world when they already have 1.5 billion people in their country? Because all they have to do is send over 1.5 billion cloned soldiers over here to start throwing Americans out of their, Americans out of their homes. Everybody knows America's armed to the teeth. I mean, those people that don't have guns are stupid liberals. That's because their money and not they're rich enough to hire security. Yeah, you come into the small town America and you're going to get your butts blown off. And they know this. That's why they're just going to send in fake clones, soldiers. The clones, synthetics, they're super soldiers, whatever. It's not looking good for America either route you look at, folks. At one point, do you realize you need to just get an RV, get out of t get out of Dodge, and go hide somewhere? An RV is going to do you a lot better than a, an estate somewhere, a million dollar mansion. What's that going to do you? Get you a little plot of land, a little camping ground site maybe to run to. Get a get a campground plot. Put your tent up on. Put your RV on. Some place to run and hide when all this starts. Get near a water source. So this week I'm just waiting and watching, folks. I don't know if Trump's just blowing huff and puff or, or he's causing a distraction. Um, well, it's secretly RVs in the background and, you know. So he's not going to do it while it does it anyway. I don't know. Let him tweet away. We just wait and watch. I mean, if if, if you looked at the route we were on, uh, it should have RV'd last week. And we'd be looking at the event of the Ascended Masters taking place and any, any coming up any time. Because the RV had already gone. And they're waiting for, I don't know what the birth signal is. You know, they keep changing it. Because, you know, they're cultists. So they're going to have a birthing event to signify the birth of the age of Aquarius. I don't know what the birthing event is. I mean, the, the dam in California was looking good for a while. Now that's kind of lost steam. Uh... You know, there was always the backup of blowing up Phoenix, because out of the Phoenix, uh, out of the, the ashes arises the Phoenix, symbolic for the Phoenix bird. So they, they had this backup plan to blow up Phoenix, nuke Phoenix. I don't know what the birthing plan is. <laughs> I'm just waiting for something to happen, some, some event. So that they can claim, oh, this was the birthing event, and now we can arrive. Because you have the birth and, you, and the arrival. You have the pangs, which we're going through now. All the stages of build up. Then you have the birth, and then whatever, it's here. And so we're waiting for the birth event to signify their arrival. Maybe their arrival will just be the birth event. I don't know. They change it all the time. They change their stuff with the wind. That's why you can't keep up with it. You can't follow it all the time because it's, you got a hundred p different people saying a hundred different things. There's no one. There's not one person that's in total control of that agenda. 
It's all decompartmentalized so much that nobody knows what anybody else is doing, and everybody thinks they're in the top group. <laughs> everybody thinks their little circle, their group is the top one. So it makes me crack up about all these Satan freaks. So, we, we, we are waiting the birth. Until then, folks, keep your ears on Trump and his little Paris agreement. We'll see where he goes with that. And keep your eyes on the skies. Be back on Wednesday at noon. Till then, everybody. Yeah, bless. <laughs>